Hi everyone, my name is Trent and I'm currently camping in a tent <laughs> in the middle of this spooky forest all alone. And since it's the beginning of October, it's officially spooky season. It's my favorite time of the year. I figured I'd lean into the October spooky vibes by playing a horror game all alone in this forest. <laughs> And believe it or not, this actually isn't my first time doing something like this. So if this all sounds interesting to you and you end up enjoying this video, make sure you go check out my other videos where I do something similar, where I play a game in a very fitting location. But in today's video, I'm playing a short horror game called Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. This is actually episode five, and I don't know anything about this episode other than the fact that it is spooky. <laughs> I've heard great things about it, but that's about it. But before we hop into this, I wanna let you guys know that this is actually a moment from an even bigger video that is on my main channel right now. So if you're into the sort of like cozy camping vibes out in a forest, making food over a campfire sort of feel, make sure you go check out my main channel because I've got a lot of great content over there. But without further ado, let's hop into the game. Right, here we are. Fears to fathom, Woodbury getaway. <laughs> Needed coffee to get done with the day. Okay, so we're working in some sort of office building. Let's go get some coffee. Looks like we're working late. Oh, the atmosphere of this game is magical, man. It's so spooky already and we're three seconds in. All right, where's the break room? I assume there would be a coffee maker in there. It's the supply room. Oh, here we go. Okay, we need some water. Easy. You know, some coffee right now actually sounds pretty good. A nice hot beverage would be amazing. Millie, what are you doing? <laughs> Millie's over there on the bed, snuggling up. Millie, you want me to cover you up? Hold up, girl. Hold up. There you go. Here. <laughs> okay, back to the spooks. Hmm. Ah, that tastes great. All right, let's get back to the desk. I think we're caffeinated up. Oh, we need to use the restroom. All right, where's that at? Let's, uh... Go to the bathroom. Okay, this game is, it, th this is too immersive. Do we really need this scene? <laughs> Wait, there's someone here. Someone's in here. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, what the freak? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. Okay, but did you have to scare me? I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You working late again, huh? Yeah, well, you young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. Oh, looks like we got a call coming in. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, my phone's been acting up lately though. Oh, snap, I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more overtime. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Uh, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Hmm. Sure, why not, Mike? Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. So 
sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. No, I totally get it, Mike. All right, talk to you later, Harp. All right, have a good night. Cool. You know what? Let's go ahead and book that place now. Uh, okay, we've got an internet browser. Can we search uh, cabin? Oh, rental. Oh, rentacabin.com. Okay, it typed it for me. Oh, that's a nice cabin. Okay. $350 a night, though? Pass. $249 a night? Pass. Cozy Lodge? Now, that's what I'm talking about right there. $199 a night, though? Psh, nah. Private cabin in Woodbury. Under $100 a night, just like Mike wanted. Book it. Oh, that easy. Okay. Perfect. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. Okay, so I guess this is like the info on the story that we're about to play through. What the freak? My light just died. That was weird. I don't like that. What the heck? Okay, that was really creepy. Already off to a weird start. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a con constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Oh, shoot! Homie's playing with the ROG Ally X! Nice, bro, what are you playing? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Mike is calling me. Oh, wait, I hung up on him. Freak! Pulling into the parking garage now. You down? Yep, I'm down. Uh, Mike, where you at? He's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Harp! Ugh. That's still how you hug people, question mark? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Okay, this guy's giving me weird vibes already. Come on. It was just a test hug to see if you smelled first. <laughs> Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. All right, I'll give you a long hug, why not? You look good. You know what? So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. All right, sounds good, let's do it. Dang, I chucked that back there. <laughs> All right then, Harp, are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. 4.26 p.m. Oh, this is a spooky forest we're driving through. Where are you taking me? It was starting to snow. Oh wait, I like this music. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. I know that feeling all too well, my friend. Whew. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Change is just hard. Like, trying to adjust to the new job. How's your new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do? <laughs> uh, we consult, stupid. That sounds like important work. <sighs> it's the most important, dude. Harp, do you ever miss college? I do. Wait. The frick was that? Why did my camera move over there? Did you see that? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. Why, why is that weird? Why is that weird to see a school bus? You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. <laughs> okay, what's up? Just at me next time, bro. I've read people do that on the internet. I might know a guy or two that has done that. Whoa! 
That was close! You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. It is? Oh, we got a text from Rena Cabin. Um, Hi Sydney, thanks for your booking my property. Blah, blah, blah. We're looking forward to it, just confirming the check-in. All right. Oh, Rick is the guy that owns the cabin. Yo, Harp, check that out. Oh, a cop. Oh, Moe's Pizza. Dude, yeah, let's go feast. <laughs> I could go for some pizza right now. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. That, yeah, that's how that works, bro. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. Come on, speed it up. We got some Zada feast on. Whoa! Just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. Mike, what about eating a whole pizza to yourself? Why are you lying to me, bro? Strike one. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, I'm gonna go, let's do the most special. A margarita and a pepperoni. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today, thanks. Why is bro answering for me? I want a Coke. I want an ice cold crispy Coke. Whatever. All right then, six hot slices coming right up. Well, how about we sit right here, Mike? Is that cool? Okay, all right, you've already claimed your spot. This man knows what he wants. Uh. All right. So, uh, how about this weather, Mike? <laughs> it's, it's snowing quite a bit, huh? Quite a, it's coming down, huh? You're not gonna say anything, Mike? You're just gonna stare at me? All right, this is awkward. Oh, long sniff. It smells so good in here. Oh yeah, it does. It smells really good. Oh, this is our group chat. All right, Nora sent oh, something. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights off. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. Okay, Nora's running late. All good. What is bro doing back there just staring at the wall? <laughs> Dude, this game is creepy as is. Like, you don't even need the spooky jump scares. Like, the animation, the graphics, everything about it. Spooky already. Looks like we'll have to start the fun without her. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. What the freak? Order number 27. You folks are right here. All right, let's uh, grab our pizza. But now I'm feeling really weird about Mike right now. Oh gosh, that is an awful noise. This pizza slaps, says Mike. I can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb pizza. I know, right? This is bad, dude. I hate this so much. Whoa! Hey there, my friends. I saw y'all pulling in that nice old truck. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this fair spirit a ride down that snowy road? You know what, why not? Hold on a second, says Mike. <laughs> Hold up, that's my car. Don't you think we need to discuss this? I'm not sure if we have the extra space for another passenger. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Heck, I'll ride in the bed. You gotta be pooping me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. 
Are you threatening us? No, no! You got me all wrong. Sorry, I, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, sure, buddy. That was weird. It wasn't a mic. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help and be friendly, bro. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. All right, Dad, chill. Dang, Harp, you actually eat the crust? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. True and real, bro. Same. Fair enough, but eat someone else's tires. We still got a bit of driving to do. <laughs> okay, Dad, that was a dad joke. All right then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys, I'm driving bro, you drive way too slow. Harp, the weather is awful, why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of, what is bro doing back there? <laughs> Get out of here, this is an A and B conversation and see your way out of here bro. Got him. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. This conversation's weird. I, maybe I don't understand the relationship, but it seems strange. Fine, but there's one condition. I get first choice of bedrooms when, or if, we get there. Deal. Let's do it. See you later, bro. Enjoy that Coke. <laughs> All right, Mike, let's get on out of here. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB. Oh shoot, I'm actually driving. This is cozy. And the crazy thing is, it's actually pretty cold outside right now. So, the immersion is, is real. Ah! You didn't see that. <laughs> see Mike, this is how you drive, bro. You put the pedal to the metal and you get where you're trying to go. Let's go this way. This bridge looks cool. I don't know if this is where we're supposed to go, but I'm going this way. Whoa, 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 whoa! Woo. <laughs> I'm running people off the road over here. <laughs> Mike, do you know where we're going, bro? Because I don't. I'm just driving. I thought you were going to tell me where to go. I, that's what the passenger does. They give directions. And you're sucking at it real bad, bro. Oh! Oh! See, look, you almost made me hit that freaking car. Oh, here we are. Woodbury, Vermont. We made it. Okay, I think this is it. Let's uh... Whoa, whoa! What? Uh... What? That's weird. Why are you honking? Okay, chill. Do you need me to move? Do I need to move the truck? Am I in your way? I can't get in. Okay, that's weird. This is weird. I'm just gonna get my stuff and I'm gonna go inside. Mike. Do you know what's going on? What's what's happening here? No idea? Okay. 5176 is the code. Got it. Dude, he's still there. What the heck? This is weird. Okay, Mike, let's go inside. Come on. Let's let's get out of here. Come on. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. I really need to hit the john. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Are we not gonna talk about the weird van out there honking at our truck? Is that not weird? Okay, all right. Okay, just putting the groceries away, acting like nothing weird is going on outside. I feel like homie's bugged out there. Yo, can you go somewhere, please? Look, what's the big deal? You need something? All right, you're, I'm, I'm parked, fine. Just go around, just go around. Mike, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mike? Why are you following me? What's going on? Why are you being weird? Okay, cool, that van was just stuck behind the truck, bugged, so all I had to do was move the truck and he zipped on out of here. Nothing spooky, thank goodness. All right, Mike, where'd you go? Mike? Mike? Mike, are you up here? Oh, I had to pee, okay, I, I gotta go pee again. 
This game loves peeing. Like, every episode has a scene where you have to pee. <laughs> this is so pointless. I love it. Oh, text trick. Okay. Hi, we've checked in. Thanks. Thanks. I hate to admit it, but I didn't want to wash my hands after. What was that hand? Did you guys just see that hand through the door? Oh, it's Mike. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So, ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. Mike, you're spooky, okay? You're giving me bad vibes. All right, let's go check out the rest of the place. Oh, dibs on first room. Um, uh, that one's your room, Mike. Oh, yeah. Ah! Who the freak are you? Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. Trust me, we're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question, Mike. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you, Never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV had been on in the, the fritz here. I just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it, you know? They say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without a TV. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Okay. <laughs> Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Oh, you're showing us the bathroom. Okay. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. <laughs> that was very descriptive, Rick. Oh, the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, though. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. After you, Rick. Look, Harp, this room has a nice freaking view. Yeah, think that's nice? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. <laughs> Okay, fine, Rick. Chill, bro. We're right behind you. Oh, he, he walks through doors. Okay, good to know. Holy smokes. This is incredible. Glad you like it, mister. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks. Let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Honestly, I think this view is pretty okay. It's nothing crazy, but whatever you say, guys. Alrighty, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for cooling and down to cool it off. Okay. I tend to keep it on low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Is this really necessary? We're just renting this for a couple nights, bro. It's not that serious. Oh, it's, it's down here in the spooky basement. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Okay, right there. Okay, got it. Hey, sir. What's the deal with that room over there? Nothing. Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as a storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I, I was just curious. Weird. I'm gonna get in that door, Mike. Don't you worry. What? I, I didn't touch the door. I, it moved on its own. I, I promise. Um, you, what, you guys look creepy. Look, can we just go? Oh, shoot. 
Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Copy that, Rick. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> really? That's the way Rick laughs? Oh gosh. The looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. All right, Rick, you're, you're a character. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around six out of 10. All right, folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that darn cat. Thanks for showing us around, Rick. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. That's not Rick. I bet you that's not Rick. Oh, that's weird. My name's Sydney. Ha! Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Nope, didn't have to say that one. You, you could have kept that one in your, your brain. <laughs> is it just me, or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're gone. All right, let's go take a shower. Let's go get all cleaned up. Scrub-a-dub-dub in the tub. Scrub-a-dub-dub in the tub. Get nice and clean. Oh, we're done. Okay, all right, cool. All right, that was nice. I guess we showered with our clothes on because I don't remember taking those off. All right, Mike, I'm done showering. Where you at, bro? Wait, that TV's on, let's turn that off. There we go, yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah, don't you turn back on, okay? You stay like that. That room's kind of spooky. I don't like that room. Ah! See to crouch? Why? Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Are you planning to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's kind of cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess you're right. It could be fun. Heck yeah! Follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. It's nighttime, like, it's snowing. Why are we doing this? This is weird. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Hart? Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's grab it. Where's it at? Um, is it up here? Mike, where's that? Are you lying to me? Because I don't see a fishing rod here. Oh, here we go. Boom. Got it. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Absolutely. Mike, I'm telling you right now, we ain't catching nothing out here. Like, this is stupid. Hope those carp are biting today. You mean tonight? It's literally the middle of the night, Mike. Come on, baby, give me a carp. Let's go. Oh, we got one. Oh, 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 we got it. Let's go, we got a bluegill. But we need carp. I'm keeping it anyway. This is an exhilarating gameplay, folks. Come on, come on. Let's catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Let's go. Let's go! Another bluegill. Okay, let's. Maybe we got the wrong bait. Woohoo! Oh, this guy's a fighter. Let's go! Got our first carp. Carp number two. Catch number three! Let's go! Carp number three. All right, Hart. Looks like you've got three carp. Do you want to go ahead, throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it, baby. I mean, I'm not calling you baby. I'm, I'm just saying like baby in general, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not a couple, remember? Hey, why is the music getting spooky? I like the like Minecraft music better. Can we, can we bring that back? Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that on the ground because uh, I don't need it anymore. 
Mike, do you know why the music's getting spooky? Let's let's go inside. Go, 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 go. I don't like the vibes right now. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind preparing the marinade? Sure, why not? Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. On it, I got it. Um, nope, we need, what is that? That's Italian seasoning, okay. Paprika, salt, pepper. Y'all got yogurt in this fridge? What is that? Oh, there we go. All right, and olive oil. Where do you guys keep olive oil? Ah, right here. Boom, good to go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Those carp are gonna taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. The room next to the living room. I would consider this the living room, right? Wait, what is this? What's this? Is this the room he was talking? Whoa. Oh, uh-uh, I ain't playing that. No, I am not playing that. We're gonna play Monop we're gonna play Catopoly. How about something that t gets our adrenaline pump? Catopoly, it, it's like top tier gameplay, dude. It, oh my gosh, it wants me to do the Ouija board. I'm not doing the Ouija board. We're doing, we're doing mega rounds, okay? Okay, he doesn't want, he doesn't want mega rounds either. Okay, freak. I'm not playing this. I'm not. Mike, you can play this, but not me. I ain't doing it. I ain't. I ain't touching it. Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if he tried this down there? That's a terrible idea. Freak, dude. He he said, "Don't come down here, man." Like he he specifically said, "Oh my, you're gonna you're getting a little table." To oh my god. Mm. Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Freak. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yeah, I do. All right, then you go first. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't play, I don't play this game. This is not, not okay. Are you moving it? That wasn't me, that wasn't me. Holy crap. Mike, where are you going? What was that? What was that? Mike? What the freak? Mike! There's some freaky stuff going down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me, bro. This was your idea, and you ditched me. What the heck, Harp? I figured you would move your butt too. I don't understand why you weren't right behind me, Sydney. How is this my fault? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. For the bones. Oh! After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa. Okay. Harp, that was some darn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up. I'm gonna turn off this TV. Yeah, yeah, no, we're done. We're done. Oh, Michael. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What the freak? Someone under your bed? Don't make sounds, walk slow. Okay. Wait, where is his bed at? Is it back here? Mike? This better not be a jump scare. Hello? Ah! <sighs> gotcha. What the freak, Mike? I totally got you. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool, Mike. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? 
Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. Where, where's our friend Nora? Okay, he's, he's gonna he's gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go hide. I decided to hide in the basement. Sydney, what the freak are you thinking right now, Sydney? Oh my gosh, this is a this is bad. This is bad. I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Oh. They can see my mic. Oh. Huh? Ah! I don't know why that scared me. Aha! Got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Close eyes. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. All right, Mike, you're about to get got. Where you at, buddy? All right, if I was Mike, where would I hide? Nope, he's not in here. Oh. This door's closed. Mike. Ah, oh, here you are. I see you, idiot. Gotcha. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice? No, Sydney, I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No? I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. You want you, you want to go investigate? Okay. Uh, or you want me to go? Okay. Oh, oh I just climbed up here. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mike. I'll, I'll let you know if I find anything. Is this a light? Okay. Good. 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 Oh, oh, that was a cat. Oh my gosh. Hi. Meow. You're cute, Mr. Kitty. Is that, is that, was it you making those noises up here? I bet it was. I bet it was. How'd you even get up here? Are you good? You want to come downstairs? Come on. Mike, I figured it out. It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking cold, guys. I need my blanket right now. It is actually so cold right now. <laughs> Millie's bundled up in the covers back there. I'm so jealous. I really wish I had a heater right now. That would be nice. Back to the game. I think she was hungry. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Okay. Oh, he's he's counting. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Okay. He's never gonna find us in here. Absolutely not. There's no way. Aha, there you are. Dang, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. Why do you have to say it like that, Mike? <sighs> One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. All right, Mike. Are you in the basement again? No, he's not in the basement. What the freak was that noise? Is that upstairs? Oh. oh. It's Rick! What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. 
Why the heck are you in here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us, bro. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I imagine you don't know what tools you need. Isn't this late for you? No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm right around the block. I told you I'll get this sink fixed for you real soon. Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would have liked to have it to ourselves. We don't really want to have to call the law enforcement. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. I cannot go back to sleep with those knocks on my door. What the? Is that coming from this door? Oh! Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Well, Mike, he kind of does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the dang house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Oh, what, what you doing sitting on my bed? Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Okay. What's going on, Mike? Harp. You know. I've missed this. Us? Just talking? It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward, Mike. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink, things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Did you listen to Nora's message? Seventy miles away? What a timing, huh? 
but I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Why is bro being so weird about this? We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Oh, we gotta lock the front door. All right, be safe out there, Mike. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kinda need one right now. I should go to sleep now. Sweet dreams, get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. All right, let's lock this door. Locked, I think. All right, let's get some sleep. I told myself things would get better if I just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Oh. Doorbell? Someone was at the front door. I wonder if it's Mike and Nora. Oh! Wait, that's the freaking hitchhiker. From, from the pizza place. Do I open the door? I, I, I guess so. Hello? Look friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. The weather outside is getting pretty bad and I, well, I was hoping you'd be a friend and let me come inside and warm up just until my friends get here. I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't help you. Come on now, my friend. If you were caught out in this blizzard, I'd give you a warm place to wait it out. You're not coming in, end of story. Are you freaking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I should have known you'd be a, as big a uh, booty hole here as you were back at the pizza joint. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fellas truck out here either. I'm dialing 911. Fine, suit yourself. Let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming for you for leaving me out here. Karma's a booty hole, my friend. Is there a phone in here? Let's call 911. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Okay, we're just gonna go to sleep after that? Okay. Wait, what the, did I just see something in that door? What? I don't like this music, dude. This music is freaking creepy. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Is that dude throwing stuff at our window? Okay, let's text Rick. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone, he was banging on my door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come back and look since you live so close? What the freak? Dude, this guy's a freaking weirdo. Oh, that's Rick, that's Rick. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. Hey Rick, what the heck's going on here? Rick, I'm so glad you came. There's this dude and he's freaking banging on my door trying to come inside. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Wait, did you? 
Was the scream? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. So you're all alone here right now? Yeah, but my friends will be back here soon. Oh, he's got a hammer. Um, yeah, so, so my friends are coming back, so I, I should be good. Like, I don't need you here the whole time, Rick. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Right, Rick, right. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. I freaking knew it. Oh, I just got chills. This music! Everything okay, miss? Uh, 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 yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It, it, it's my friends, they're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by though. I, I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. What did you just say? Uh, you need to leave right now. This is my freaking house. I will leave when I want to. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Okay. What, what, where's he running? Where's he going? Uh, 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 I'm gonna go hide. I'm gonna go hide. Freak. I'm gonna go hide in the basement. Close the door. Close the door. Freak. 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 Go, 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 go. <gasps> oh! Go, 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 go. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Do we go up? Up the stairs? What the freak? Shoot. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go in here and then up, up into the, oh. Uh. Our friends just pulled up. They'd sent us a text message. Pick up the phone, sleepyhead. I'm almost here. I don't... Hey. Oh, oh, go, 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 go! The phone call alerted him, dude. How do we get past him? Okay, what do we do here? Is there a weapon? 
or something that we use? Is there anything up here? How do we... Oh, okay, we can go in the attic. Oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We, we did it, we're in the attic now. Okay, I, I knew there was something I needed to do with this. Okay, cat, be quiet. Are you all right? Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Thank you, Rick. Okay, what do we do from here? Hi, Mr. Kitty, can I pet you? Meow. I wonder, is he still right here? No, he's not. Okay, so maybe we can go back down. What's up with the happy music? What? What is going on? Mike! I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. In our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us all a full refund. We beat it! Bravo! <laughs> nice! Well, there you have it, guys. Episode five in the books. We came, we saw, we conquered, and we beat this freaking game. However, I will say that ending was a little eh. And honestly, overall, that episode was kind of eh. It was good. I had fun. I enjoyed it. Some of the jump scares and spooks were pretty great, but I was hoping for a little bit more spooky vibes. But I am cold and I'm tired. So I'm gonna get some sleep. But first I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. For those of you that don't know, this is my second channel and my main channel is where I do all of my adventures. I go out, live and travel in my van and I game out of my van. I game in cool places like this, playing spooky horror games. So if you're into that sort of thing, go subscribe to my main channel as well as this one and I'll have all those links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.